Hello and welcome to the men's final of the HCL SRFI Indian Tour PSA event here in Chennai. I'm Chris Ryder and I'm being joined by Malaysian national coach Andrew Cross. Hello Andrew, how are you? Are you there? Can we have a <laughs> make sure the technology is working for us? I'm here, Chris. How are you doing? Yes, I'm good. Thank you. I'm looking forward to this match. I mean, one and two seeds. They both had um, uh, testing matches leading up to the final, and I think, uh, but they both look fresh. I think so. I'm I'm really looking forward to this, and it's going to be a difficult one to call. I'm going to put you on the spot in a minute and make you. Uh, uh, do a prediction for us. No sitting on the fence, please. Uh, this is tough, actually, and I think both of them have played really, really well this week. Uh, I think Mahesh has looked good recently in the last few events, and I think playing at home, he might have a little advantage. Interestingly, though, Todd has actually won the last two meetings. They've played twice, and Todd has picked up both the wins against Mahesh. Uh, once back in 2018 and then he, the recent meeting back in 2019. But I think Mahesh has been playing a little bit better. So I think he might have a little edge, but let's see. Okay, so you'll go Mahesh and uh, I think in that case I'll go Todd. Um, I think he's been playing with some real quality this week and particularly like quality of uh, length to the back and a, a, like a variation of weight of shot and he's got some really good holds and he's quite a controlling player whereas Mahesh is much more of a physical player who tries to force the pace um, and take the tee away from his opponent so it was actually quite a similar match up to Mahesh versus Abe so Abe's got some similar qualities to Todd Harity uh, his match in the semi-final so that might be Mahesh's favour uh, either way it's got to be close there's only four or five ranking spaces um, places in this in between the two players so I think we're in for a good one. Yeah, I agree. I think this is going to be an absolute brilliant match to close the event on of what has really been a fantastic week of squash here. Uh, I think I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm sure you have too, Chris. Oh yeah, I think it's been it's been great and it's you know, we've been quite starved of uh, live squash for a number of months um, during the pandemic and it's just fantastic to have uh, one featured here with you know, obviously top-notch commentary, but I mean, it's live streamed. Everyone can <laughs> see it. The play players are really appreciating uh, being able to play, and and there's just been so much effort gone into making this event happen. You know, so a big thank you really to HCL, the sponsors. We've done a great job of teaming up with SRFI um, in India to make more than PSA events happen. And they've got a series of events, but they're also involved in, in coaching, junior development, coach development. Um, so it's uh, it's fantastic they're on board as a big company, and that's what we need in squash. Yeah, I think you've nailed that, Chris. That was spot on, everything you've just said there. And, uh, yeah, long, long may it continue, and it's great that this is the first tournament that's really got underway, which is not a big, big event in comparison to all the ones that we've seen live on Squash TV. This is, uh, it's, these are the players that usually kind of just miss out on that real top, top event. And, and I'm sure they will be very, very appreciative of this, this effort that's gone on. And I'm sure a lot of effort has gone on behind the scenes to get this event up and running. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, viewers, will find it interesting to see these players that, like you say, I mean, they're... Mahesh played in black ball. I think he played against Asal. Is that right? And um, I'm actually yep, don't that's know right. Yeah. Did, so. he, yeah, he played Asal, and then uh, he played Castagne last week. So he, he's just oh, yeah, just making it. So here we go. Anyway, and just going to see if uh, I think the style of play that Todd Harity is that uh, he'll be looking to sort of feel his way into this match and find that accuracy of I'm expecting Mahesh to go out and try and impose himself early doors really yeah I think Mahesh I think that's a great rally to start from Todd I thought the first few lines down the backhand looked really good there and then that's a really good confident forehand drop to start off start off the match 
not too bad from Mahesh. Yeah, that's really two pretty good rallies so far. I think there's a lot of things that come into a lot of factors that come into a, a final event. You know, there's extra pressure, and um, and we're interesting to see how sort of the home player Mahesh will be played on this court a lot in Chennai. And but there is extra pressure, and sometimes players thrive on that, and sometimes the reverse happens, doesn't it? So, um, you know, that's a bit more. Whereas, you know, for Todd, it's it's sort of a it's a big event to get to a final, but perhaps not the sort of home pressure and weight of expectation of being that uh, uh, number one seed and home player. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I think probably, and probably one advantage for Todd is that there's no home crowd there. You know, there's no, sometimes it, there can be a lot of people sat around the court, and when you're the home player, you know, you get a lot of support when you win a rally. and. When you're the the opposition player and you catch a tin, you can always get a little bit of clapping as well. It can be a little bit off-putting. Um, you won't get much support when you win a rally, so without that, maybe just levels things up a little bit. And we both uh, we both experienced this venue actually when it has been very crowded at the World Juniors in 2018 when they hosted that, and it just pushes up the. Uh, pushes up the volume, it pushes up the temperature as well if that needed to happen when you've got another few people surrounding the court you know it's just it's just hot and crowded and very um, you know, sort of maybe a bit claustrophobic on those courts and stuff like that it just adds to the atmosphere doesn't it so a little bit different uh, in sort of COVID times Yeah, you're right. It, it can get really hot in there, and I'm sure it is still hot even without without the people. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a less of an atmosphere, but it's good. It's good to see some squash. That is for sure. Well, I think it looks like both players are actually finding their lines pretty early doors, doesn't it? And you know, this is this is good quality squash. Great lob there, that just stayed in. Another another quality boast from Mahesh. Yeah, I like that they're working all the corners at the moment. As you say, they've really found their range earlier. A couple of matches we've watched this week, it's taken them a little bit of time to settle, but these boys have got straight into it at the moment. Hello. First real error there that we've seen, but it was, uh, it was a good position for Mahesh, but he didn't quite take advantage of it. Nice read. Well there. read there. Yeah, good yeah. read. I think to be fair, like Todd has, uh, Todd Harity has read Mahesh's counters a couple of times and been up onto that. So, you know, after a week of uh, intense play, then you do get to start feeling that you're really into reading your opponent and your confidence is up. So it'd be nice to see both these players continue this high quality form throughout this match. If they continue like this, this will be a very high quality match. This has been yeah, we're in for really team. impressive, this first seven rallies. Just skidded off the back there. Really did. He's fired in a few oh. bursts so far, Mahesh, that have worked absolutely yeah, beautiful well, for him. We've actually seen that a few times this week, and, you know, it's it's one of those, you'd probably say it's a once or twice a match type of shot, but then for the rest of the match, that threat is there that he might play that three-wall boast from deep, and you've got to, as his opponent, you've got to slightly move your tee forward and cover it, and then that opens up space at the back of the court. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's difficult, and then just the. Uh... Oh yeah, I thought that. I thought that was a stroke, and I thought they'd gone for a let. Um, yeah, it just there. Maybe he got his tee position a little bit high, and then just didn't quite get back behind it. Caught the side wall. And he's put that one straight out. Yeah, and this is one of the uh, issues: is that you have to go and collect your own ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, luckily well, someone's just throwing it back, back in there. quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So a, a quick two point lead here for Mahesh in the mid part of the game. Lovely variations of pace, soft drops, hold, flick. It's a shame because he was in control of that rally and then really that's an unforced error. And now he's three yeah, points down and this game is starting to run away with him. Yeah, although he'll be disappointed to miss the last one. Actually, that was a pretty good rally for him. Got Mahesh doing a big, some big movements to the back of the court and... Showed him, showed him the straight, the cross and the drop. That's going to be a stroke as well. Just kind of run away a little bit from him here, the last four rallies, Todd. Well, that was a bit more severe in the end there, but I felt he was just trying to be a bit too cute there, and he hadn't really learnt from his errors of, uh, you know, he he's, he had Mahesh a couple of rallies on a on a piece of string really, and wasn't able to finish it off before. Yeah, it looks like in the last two rallies here, he's just got him, well, two or three rallies actually, he's just got himself back in front of Mahesh, and uh, even though he missed the first one, he's. We played two good winners on the last two rallies. Thought he might have tried to cut that one off on the volley. So, but Mahesh is finding it difficult here to get back in front. We didn't quite get a good, good enough camera angle to see where that landed in relation. No, it's sort of. I expected a stroke there, but I think it's been given yeah, to that. Yeah, with the way Mahesh is arguing, he's obviously not got the stroke he wanted. No, I think uh, I think Todd won't be, you know, too upset with this scoreline because he is in control of the majority of the rallies. But the thing is, Mahesh is such a good athlete that he's going to take. You know, you has to. You have to be patient if you put him into. A, Three or four corners, that's just not enough, is it? No, but he's going to be a success route. here. Yeah, that is a, yeah, you're right, it's a poor error, but he's just getting his way back into it here, Todd. The last four rallies now, he's been in front of Mahesh. It's just lost a little bit of accuracy here, Mahesh. He's really losing that, that position around the tee at the moment. And Todd's looking calm, collected, and... Yeah, it's always a bit of both, isn't it? You know, one player plays worse because the other player is playing better. And... Is that to be conditioned? Big rally here, though. two-point lead at this stage of proceedings becomes much more significant. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that is a lovely, lovely backhand volley drop there. He, he actually didn't need to go that fine to the top of the tin, but he went in and it was beautiful. He's definitely got the momentum here at the moment, Todd. And he's definitely uh, controlling this at the moment. Mahesh just kind of losing those lines a little bit down that side. That's nice.
Thought he might have tried to volley that and pick up the pace a little bit from Todd. Yeah, Mahesh should start getting into this rally a bit more here. Yeah, he's finding a few opportunities. I don't think he's quite maximised one yet. But I think this, this is what he be. needed. He needed a long, a long, hard rally to get some physicality into this game. You know, which works to his in his favour. Oh, he went for a big one there. Yeah, Todd, I think Todd will be happy there. He absorbed a lot, and he managed to force Mahesh the last few shots to get closer and closer to the top of the tin. So. I would take that as probably a bit of a positive there for Todd. Well, I felt, yeah, it was, a, it was mixed, wasn't it? Because it, he lost a bit of control. He'd had su He's had such control of the last six, seven rallies, and then that one, actually, Mahesh started getting into him, you know, and he was he was spending a bit more time on the tee, adding a bit more pace to the ball, to the how early he took it, um, and his quality as well. So definitely all to play for. I think the thing is with this, we've said in previous game, in previous matches that the first game is crucial, and I don't think it's 100% crucial here. Either player could come back from a one-love deficit. Um, it's important, don't get me wrong, but it's not match-defining. Yeah, I think I think you're right. This is oh, that's a fantastic cross court. There's a broken his string, I think, on the way through, but. But yeah, both of these boys are going to be strong enough and fit enough to come back after losing the opening game. Um, but yeah, it's been positive for Todd so far, I feel. I think he'll be very happy with his opening game's work. Accurate stuff down the back end. Great view that. And that one. Well, a much more patient rally there from both players, but pretty sparing opportunities. But Mahesh was the one that took it on with a bit more positivity, and it paid off. So we're back to within a point. Didn't quite there, make that so, one yeah, uh, Todd Harity takes first game.
fantastic opening game there from both players with Todd Harity taking in the opening game there 11-9 obviously Mahesh got off to a good start leading 8-4 before Todd Harity came back taking a little bit more control getting in front taking control of that T area and winning the opening game 11-9 we will see what comes here in the second game what are your expectations here Chris well, I expect Mahesh will want to come back and increase the increase the tempo, and we've seen him do that throughout the week. Um, whenever he's been in trouble, he's come back, particularly at starts of games, he's going to want to get a few long rallies in, but also just up the pace. And uh, he needs to start being a bit more aggressive with his racket work, I think, and really put Todd on the back foot because he's been too much in control of that first game, in my opinion, for Mahesh's liking. Um, and I think Mahesh needs to stamp his authority on this match now. Yeah, Mahesh was really good in that when he got to 8-4 of really trying to you know get on the ball nice and early and then look for a next opportunity to keep the pressure on. Todd's lines were probably a little bit better in that mid part of the first and he was able to get control of that T area. Here we go, that's a bit harder hitting there. The problem with that, if he's yeah, not easy. accurate, then Todd will use his hold and delay and bring it back down and disrupt his movement. Yeah, and on a, on a hot court, it's going to sit up <laughs> very high at the back of the court here. What an angle to see that shot. drop shot from. Yeah. Mm. Just how he went, just open the racket face, just cut through it and it stayed so short. Yeah, and this is just the interesting uh, matchup with these two players and you can see the sort of intensity coming from Mahesh and really hitting through the ball, particularly on the forehand, um, winding up for it. And then Todd just trying to take the pace out of it, you know, it uh, really is sort of a fascinating, fascinating contest here. Yeah, it's been really interesting how Todd's just neutralised a lot of the, the attacks of Mahesh just by using that height and just using Mahesh's pace almost to guide the ball back into a good area. I think that's something that doesn't always come across and very difficult to come across is how much energy it takes to hit the ball hard repeatedly and Mahesh is doing much more of that than Todd Harity so he'll be using up a lot more energy in these exchanges oh that's a fantastic drop shot at the front just a nice little beautiful short swing and just Clipped it back just above the top of the tin. He's not really allowing Mahesh to settle. I like that he just keeps holding, have a little hold at the top of the swing and then hitting a cross scot just to keep, keep Mahesh guessing. Oh, I was pretty sure that was a stroke. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I agree with you. I'm pretty sure that was a stroke as well. You don't see uh, Todd Harity get, like too uh, complaining too much to the referees that often. So uh, I would say he pretty much felt that was a nailed-on stroke. 
Yeah. Uh, just interested. That has to be. <laughs> well, that's got to be, isn't it? <laughs> It's just interesting that because he's hit so many cross courts from from the back with a little hold, Mahesh's movements just having to stop on the tee, and he kind of wanted to go a little bit earlier on the previous one, and then didn't. He had to check his movement before going back. Now he's just starting to guess a little bit in the middle. Yeah, some dangerous signs here for the Indian supporters. That's three three in a row almost. He's not really seen where that ball's going. And it's credit to Todd because of the way he's used that, those holds at the front now. Now he's got he's got Mahesh guessing and that's really what the good signs that Todd is, is looking for in this match. I think this just goes to show like, you know, anybody watching but in particular junior players that you don't need to be chucking in loads of the balls to the front of the court to be winning. I mean, Todd Harity is very cleverly. Oh, that's a lovely shot there. Lovely shot. But uh, I'll just finish what I was going to say there. Todd Harity is very cleverly using uh, Mahesh's energy against him. And it's all at the back of the court. He keeps threatening to go short almost with every hold he does. But then eggs him back again, doesn't he? So, you know, there's a latent threat, but he doesn't use it very often. No, and you're, and you're right, it's, I mean, he's using that energy of Mahesh and he's just draining him a little bit every time he has to stop, start, and it's, it's a hard movement to make when you have to stop and start all the time, especially from around the middle. And as you saw there, he just held that drop shot a little bit and then he takes it in. Mahesh just has to hold that movement. At the moment, every time he's hitting the ball, he's got Mahesh just to stop his movement a little bit on the middle even at the back now so some some good signs for Todd at the moment you know, the body language of Mahesh is not looking um, nearly so positive he needs a big fight here otherwise he's going too love down in a final you just feel it's all going against you very quickly sometimes like that and um, you know after that aggressive part it's not worked out for him he didn't buy himself the lead with putting in more aggression. It, it worked against him. And now he's 3-7 down with a lot of work to do. Yeah, he's got, he's got a lot to do here. That, that, that quick point is going to help. But you can see he's, he's obviously a little bit frustrated. Obviously, he's, he's, you're right. It's not going the way he wants it to go at the moment. He's got to look to try and change that. I think he's got to get these balls into the back a bit more. Everything's just stopping a bit short. And I think that that's credit to Todd because of the lines and the holds that he's using, really. Yeah, he's beating, it at the, he's beating him at the back of the court. and There's just not a lot you can do about that apart from increase your quality to the back of the court. Or you've got to take on some serious shots to the front. But you need to compete at the back for quality, and uh, you know pressure is not not doing the job alone without that quality there. Yeah, he's he's gone back to it. That's the first time Mahesh has really held anything and pushed it, pushed it long. And then the next one, he plays a really nice volley burst, which is that, that was good from Mahesh. But he needs to do more of that. Try and change the movement of Todd, get him get him holding and twisting and turning. He hasn't hasn't managed that yet. Yeah, he's proved he can do it in that rally there. That was high quality stuff from Mahesh. He needs to be consistently producing that. I think what Mahesh is finding hard now is that he's hitting that burst like he did at, at the start of the first game. But Todd's so high on the tee that if the quality's not there, he's, he's getting beaten at the front. Five game balls. Oh, wow. 
Fantastic winner that was. It's got to be up there with Charlotte Thorn and that one. <laughs> it has, yeah. That's just what you need to save a game ball. But I don't think Todd will be discouraged by that because that, that's, that's an outrageous winner that he's needed to beat him. going to be a stroke and there we go so Todd Harity takes a two love lead in this final of uh, the HL SRFI Chennai PSA tournament so 11-6 in that game As you can see at the bottom of the screen there, a huge s second game victory for Todd Harity as he took the second game there. He played really, really well. He held the ball well. He's got Mahesh guessing at the moment as to where the ball's going. He's holding it from the front, the back and the middle and he's just causing Mahesh all kinds of problems at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see if Mahesh can turn this third game around, try and improve the quality of his length to the back of the court, try and get Todd off the middle and try and get some physical work into Todd at the moment. I don't feel he's quite quite done that enough. I've got quite got the physicality in there. So we will see here if Mahesh can pull this, pull this around. Yeah, I think... Uh... Todd Harrity was firmly in control of that second game after a very well contested first game, and uh, Mahesh needs to do needs to up his quality here. He needs to match Todd Harris his quality of shot, and then try and overpower him with some of his physicality. But quality first, and then physicality second, not the other way round. Such good hands there from Todd. He's on full stretch almost there, and he just managed to just guide that so straight and tight. Such a well-structured combination. Pressurise down that backhand, force a weak cross court, and just pick it off on the forehand volley. That's pretty useful from Mahesh. He needs he needs a big start here. He needs to grow his confidence. His body language doesn't look that positive to me at the moment. Yeah, I, I thought when he went off at the end of the second, he looked a little bit frustrated with himself. Uh, he's obviously trying to G himself up a little bit here. He's got a few little hand gestures going on, trying to get himself going. He's just got to make sure he has quality when he's getting into the front. If not, it's just giving more opportunities for Todd to use his holds. Well, that'll be a bit frustrating for Mahesh, who's on a bit of a roll there and has actually got a lead, an early lead in this game, and then the ball goes out of court. I, I agree, Chris. He's got, you're right, he's finally got a little bit of momentum swinging his way. 
and Todd can just hit a little bit of a reset button here and get back to what he was hole, doing in it? games. Yeah, one and two. This, yeah, the ultimate hole. <laughs> That is a good quality combination of shots and actually uh, Mahesh took advantage of Todd's overhit length that time which is quite rare. A lovely backhand drop shot and followed it up looking for anything else and jumped on the next shot. Yeah, Mahesh is not messing around here. That's the first time we've really seen him finding a little bit of rhythm and he's got back the tee position at the moment. But you're right there, the way he jumped up off that drop on the backhand was the first time we've probably really seen that so far in this match. <laughs> Todd a little bit... <laughs> a little bit confused I think there. he heard the referee there. <laughs> Got a yeah. point and a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely shot. It's the it's rapid work of Mahesh here that's not better. Yeah, it's almost like he's changed the game a little bit. He's decided he's going to throw it into the front a bit more and be a bit more aggressive to the front. He's probably realised that he's not getting what he needs at the back at the moment. So he's just attacking to the front. He's attacking with good quality. And again, he's going short. Whereas before, in games one, and two, he was he was getting beaten to the to the front of the court. Now he's the one who's the aggressor, taking it short and then backing up on the next shot. And it's giving him a big eight-two lead here, Chris. Well, yeah, I, I don't feel he's given it to him. I feel Mahesh has taken it. I I think he's he's gone ahead and grabbed this, and I'm quite impressed actually by Mahesh and just find it in so fascinating how there's such a big momentum swing he looked almost without bereft of ideas I suppose you'd say in the second game and now he's completely dominating play yeah and he's been well he's been superb so far this game absolute brilliant quality from him to the front and he's hitting 9-2 and he's two points short of being half in the deficit. I think it was the quarter final with Abe Singh and um, Kareem El Hamami where we saw massive momentum shifts in terms of like Abe went two love up, Kareem came back to two all and then it was Abe who took the fifth game. Oh, and yeah, they were just such uh, yeah. in El Naswani. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was a uh, oh yeah um, that's right yeah sorry it was <laughs> and, uh, Get my players mixed up, but I mean, it just goes to show that the margins in uh, squash are so fine sometimes that when you get on top, that you know those points can go very quickly. And you know these are very closely matched players, but still the uh, there's a slight shift of momentum, a slight slight change of tactics or intent, and all of a sudden a massive change in the scoreline. Yeah, I agree with you, but I think this is probably a little bit of a crucial stage here because Todd's just hit two good winners and obviously he needs now to, if he does lose this game, but he needs to try and get some momentum back. He doesn't want to go down here 11-5. He wants to try and win the next one or two points to have got a little bit of momentum back with him. He's played well the last three rallies here. Yeah, I mean, like if he if he wins this game, it's a bit of a miracle. Um, but these things happen, don't they? Sometimes, so Mahesh has to be switched on. This is he's just lost it a little bit here, Mahesh. It's almost like he'd reset already for the fourth game, maybe. Just that that length's just getting a bit a bit short again. We'll be thankful to see that one going out of the side of the court. 
So that is the third game. Mahesh Mangonka is back in this. It's 2-1 to Todd Harity, the American, and we're in a, in a real tussle here now. So join us in a minute for the uh, fourth, fourth game. A fantastic third game there from the top seeded Indian Mahesh as he came back there to have been much more aggressive on the ball taking it in nice and early with some really good quality he opened up a very quick lead and even though Todd got a little bit of momentum back at the end of the third all in all some, some good stuff there from Mahesh and we look forward now to this fourth game to see if Mahesh can continue that fine form from the third or will Todd have regained a little bit of momentum at the end of the third there as he won four of the last five rallies. Yeah, I think this is is great that this has got the this event has got the final it deserved. Um, if there had been two three love finals then that would have been a slightly disappointing I think in terms of uh, the event who always look forward to a big final and this has got every chance to go to five but Todd Harity will have different ideas about that won't he? Yeah he'll be wanting to get this done here and he'll need a much better start than what he had in game three um, but those last few rallies of the of the third were positive I've always missed that one but uh, he's probably going to want to get up the tee a little bit more because Mahesh was attacking to the front a little bit more in that third. So he might just need a slightly higher tee position to cover the front of the court. That's such good quality. Yeah, he just, just very good he saw that nice there. and early. Yeah. No messing about there, was there? <laughs> no, he was all over that. I just hope, I suppose, that Mahesh doesn't revert to physicality. I think it was his improved racket work and skill level which um, got him off to that good lead in the third game. And I hope he is aware of that and doesn't revert that, you know, harder hitting but with less attention to quality of shot. Yeah, so far his quality, he's, he got, I felt he got away with it a little bit in the last one, that backhand drop to the front wasn't as good as what he was hitting in the third and his, his forehand drop from the back there wasn't as good as what it was. He kind of just left it up a little bit for Todd, he was probably kind of a little bit lucky to have won that rally. Just catching us out. Well played by Todd. Todd's just kind of moving forward onto these though now. Very open rally. Very open rally. Hello. 
I think if he would have made that, Todd was well, waiting that, for it. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, they both cover a lot of ground here and it started to not get quite as tight and as patient down the walls. Yeah, there's a lot going into the front at the moment. It's like one or two shots deep and then two or three shots in the front. It's interesting and it's ni nicely poised at the moment. Yeah, I feel this could run away with one player or the other very quickly. At the moment, Mahesh looks in charge on the scoreboard. Um, maybe if I was if I was Todd, I'd be choosing to lift this at the chip a few down the wall, just get a bit more time on the tee. Oh, oh, he's got a bit of a lucky nick that time. Yeah, I think if you made a good point there. Todd probably hasn't lifted as much as what he did in games one and two. Yeah, he's just got drawn in, hasn't he? He's got drawn in to the front of the court and taking it all in there. And when he was really doing the damage, he was threatening the front, not hitting the ball there. He was hitting deep and he was disrupting movement. That is a great shot by Mahesh. And he's on a roll now. He's, he's all over this and it looks to be going to a fifth. Yeah, yeah it looks like everything's going Mahesh's way at the moment. And it's now Todd who's looking a little bit short of ideas here at the moment. He can't quite cope with Mahesh's powerful movements to the front at the moment. And Mahesh is, he keeps going in there. He's not he's not relenting in any way. been a long time since Todd Harity has hit the back wall with the the ball isn't it yeah at the moment he can't get himself any kind of time on the tee all that kind of control that he had has just disappeared at the moment and you're right it's because he's not getting that ball through anymore so the fourth game we're into a fifth Mahesh takes that convincingly 11-2 and we're into a deciding game with the Indian in charge of that, that last two games. As you can see there, Mahesh kind of ran away with that game. He quickly opened up a 4-1 lead before closing out the second game, 11-2. At the moment, all of the momentum is with Mahesh. He's been very aggressive to the front of the court the last two games, and he's got some good rewards for it. First two games, he's probably stuck on the wrong end of a lot of holds and use of height from Todd Harity. But at the moment... All the momentum is with Mahesh. And here we go, down to the final game of this week's championships. Chris, are you I still going with Todd? With your prediction of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's not looking quite...
Might yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to change my mind. Uh, can't do that, can you? Yeah. No, unfortunately not. It's been a good game, though. We've had a great match here. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely worthy of a final. And it's, it is great when you get the, the tournament, which this is certainly one of the best, you know, probably the best match. I mean, there were, there's great matches earlier in the week with Abe Singh, I think. Like, they were, they were fantastic as well. Um, but this fully justifies a final. So good reward for ATL, the sponsors, and SRFI, the organisers. can see Mahesh's body language on the tee here at the moment. He's just hunting down everything. I mean, what a change in body language. <laughs> what a change. Yeah, at the, end, at the end of the second, he looks down and out, and now he looks, looks ready to pounce at the moment. Interesting that from from Mahesh. Usually, he's been last few last few games. Sorry, he's been going short from the back, and he chose to push that one deep and got got punished. Didn't quite get the length he wanted. It's two rallies in a row. He's kind of got sucked back into hitting deep again. Yes, this is a bit more reminiscent of the second game at the moment, isn't it? When Mahesh came out with a lot of intensity, but Bob was able to soak it up and use his hold to, to take some energy out of the sting out the legs. And quickly, actually, in that game, got on top of Mahesh. And there's a yeah, danger it could happen again here. I think, actually, Mahesh has got to calm down a bit. Yeah, it's almost like he's too pumped up here at the moment, those first two or three rallies. And yeah, I, I felt like the line was to the right of Todd there to go and get that. But yeah, I, I agree with you, Chris. He's probably got to find that that right area or right zone of not being too pumped up. He's kind of lost a little bit of accuracy as well. And it's, Todd, it's, it's Todd's body language now that's all changed. Well, we talked about momentum swings and we are in the midst of another one, aren't we? No. Yeah, Todd's... Hopefully for the Indian supporters there's going to be one more. Because at the moment, this is not going their way. You're right, this is very similar to the second. Todd's back to using the height and chipping it down the walls, using Mahesh's pace against him almost. Quick five love lead. Oh, it's all going wrong here for the Indian. It's Todd Harity who's taken control with much better quality. Another dying length coming in there. 
and Mahesh is really struggling to find some answers at the moment. I mean, if you'd have gone back five minutes ago, I mean, Todd looked looked quite down and out, and Mahesh was flying, and I really, did, honestly, didn't expect this for the fifth. This has run away very quickly here from Mahesh. Nine love. Unbelievable scoreline if this is converted here. Yeah, and that's probably going to be a stroke. And that. And that is that. We finish actually with a bagel. So it's Todd Harris' title, 3-2 in a fascinating match and one that worthy of a final. And that is a huge win for Todd Harris who takes a 20k tournament. I'll have to do some research and see if it's his first 20k tournament. But he will be over the moon with that and Mahesh will be sorely disappointed really with his last game there which after that fourth game i thought andrew that he was really going to come out firing there and he probably tried in a way tried too hard he overdid it and that played into todd's hands i'm i'm pretty stunned at the moment chris to be honest with you i just you know six minutes ago as we see there on the screen six minutes ago i was thinking that everything was going mahesh's way and he's come out losing the 50 11 love but credit to todd he managed to get back his game there and uh, I think well I've never seen that before on the screen um, but there we go <laughs> no. the run of points uh, for, for Todd Harity there in the fifth game well yeah uh, like you I mean that is rare and an unfortunate really it's an unfortunate way for Mahesh to end his tournament because that was a fantastic match and he played very well and Todd was playing very well as well so I mean, very ruthless by the American um, to take it in that style. Um, but sport is ruthless, and that's what that's what you play it for, isn't it? So, uh, fantastic effort, I think, all week by the American there, and I think he fully fully was to win that title. His control and his accuracy, his tactical understanding was really nice to see all week. And, you know, that ultimately is what's won in the title. So, um, well played, um, and, uh, well, well, just, uh, well played to Mahesh as well. Uh, I'd like to say as well, thank you to HCL for sponsoring the tournament and SRFI for organizing it. Um, before we sign off, Crossy, it's been a pleasure commentating with you as well. Yes, Chris, it has been a pleasure to spend my week with you and the other two, Josh and Owen. I think we've had a fantastic week of squash. I think we've had some good banter this week. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to doing it again. Yes, well, that would be nice to be uh, For more, there's more planned. There's another another tour legs planned from Indian squash. So I think they're, they're really trying to put on similar-sized events Um throughout India, so we look forward to those in the future.